Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have two really nice mods that I want to review with you guys. The MAN GTS 10x8 Menor Spreader version 1.2 and the Case IH Jumbo version 1.0 Mobile Loading Wagon. Now, we'll go over the Menor Spreader first. I wanted to review this mod for a while now but I had a few mods ahead of it I had to go over first. But there was another mod out just like this, but it was actually a tepper truck, and it's almost identical, but it was just a tepper instead of a manure spreader, and you could hook another tepper to it. This looks like you can hook another attachment to the back as well. And another thing with this too, you can hook, it has an attachment on the front that you can, it's stowed away right now, but you can operate that from the inside. So, we're going to be taking a look at these two mods seeing what they look like, taking a look at the specs, and finally taking them out on the field to see if they can handle what we throw at them. Now, inside. Nice looking man interior. Not bad at all. Now, this has IC control, so let me get my menu screen up. As you can see, if you press space, you can go to IH controls or IC controls. There's how you control your hitches there. Right here you have your uh, door functionability. Windows and doors. On both sides. Very nice. Horn works great. Let's take a look on the outside. Check out the beacon, see if they work. The only thing I'm not too hot about on with this mod is those Michelin men on top. No offense, but I'm just not big on them. But that's fine. As long as it does what it's supposed to do, that's the point, right? F. Lights work fine. We got blinkers. No problem. Everything works. Okay. And we also, if you press M, you can close the cover on this. Now, we'll be putting this through the test very shortly. I want to jump over to the shop and check this out with you guys. Now that's under trucks. There it is. Now, the file size of this mod is 42 megabytes. The price is $279,000. 500. The power is 353 kilowatts, 480 horsepower. The daily maintenance is $20 a day. This thing can hold 47,000 liters. And that's about it for now. So there it is. It's listed under trucks. And it's a manure spreader. So, what else with this guy? Anything? I see controls. No. That's about it. Okay. We're going to be putting him to the test, but I'm going to go over this guy. This guy is a mobile loading wagon. This guy is a couple of months old actually. I wanted to review this guy quite a while ago, but I'm going to be introducing this to my Let's Play, so I want to go over it because all the mods I use on there I reviewed at some point. So, very nice all-in-one loading wagon. It's not too badly done. It looks pretty good from the outside. This frees up a tractor too, so it comes in pretty handy. Sounds like a beast. Beacons work. Lights. Good to go. Okay, they're up top to signal lights. Hazards. Okay, we're good to go there. Now, over to the shop. Now this is under tippers. There it is there. The K600 TSL Jumbo. LS. 15 clean. Okay, what do I have here? It is 23.3 megabytes. It costs 198,000 in the shop, $145 a day maintenance fee. It picks up more than just hay. It picks up grass and stuff and uh, straw, of course. Uh, you'll notice that mine, while I'm doing it, I can pick up 100,000. I just changed this. I popped it up a little bit. It has a six meter work width and I'm not sure what the power is. It doesn't say the power, but it's it's pretty powerful. It does the job well. So we're going to be taking that out of the field and putting it to the test. We already have, or I already have, a couple set up. So we're just going to jump over. Okay, there's our loading wagon. I'm going to lower my implement. I'm going to turn it on. 
some of my beacons on. Did we look in the inside of this? No, we didn't. Looks basically the same as the in-game case. Pretty much the same. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, like I said, it's a loading wagon. I wish it went a little faster, but this is going to free up a tractor, and it's good for ju not just this. It can pick up grass and whatever. You can notice the compass at the top. It kind of points you in what direction you're going in. So let's just keep going for a little bit. It's doing what it's supposed to do. That's the main thing. So yeah, I'm going to be using this in my Let's Play. Well, it's a great little mod. I was really surprised. Unfortunately, you can't hire a worker, but that's alright. It's a nice little mod. I don't know what the key MN thing is. Let me try that. Okay, you can move that. Okay, I see what you're saying. One, two, okay. Now, I'm going to jump over to this guy. Now, this is the manure spreader. We're going to get him filled up. Now, there's two little glitches with this, guys. Unfortunately, it's not a big glitch, but I found, at least on this Ringwood map, Ringwood's map, you see manure is the first uh, conveyor there. Watch when I go under here. It won't fill up. Now, I don't know if that's the truck or the map. I'm not really too sure. But it seems odd to me that it won't take manure. That's what it's built for. But it, you can shovel it in. If you use a bucket, you can shovel it in. So what I do, I do have a front or a wheel loader over here. Oh, I thought I was going over. Can I drop down the side? I think I can. Uh, unfold. I'll just take that side down so we don't have to lift it as high. And I'm going to jump out and jump in my wheel loader over here with the extra big bucket. Check out that bucket. I reviewed that not too long ago. If you guys want that, just go check out that mod review. And it's all yours. Alright. Business. Let's get down to business here. We gotta fill this guy up. Okay, that's not a very good scoop. Gotta pull it down a bit. Any more than 50%. There we go. Yeah. So this holds 10,000 per scoop, which is not bad at all. I figured this would fill it a little faster. Now, you seen the one glitch there. Ooh, this thing's heavy. Okay, I just don't want to miss. That's my biggest concern. Accidentally dump it over the other side. I don't know if you could dump this accidentally on the ground. I think it just disappears if you dump it on the ground. I should have did this off screen, but it won't take long with this scoop. It's a little tricky because it's uh this bin is almost filled. I don't know if you could fill them all the way actually, but it's pretty filled. Let me back up here a little bit. There we go. We're up on the roof here. No, that's good for now. Maybe one more. I'll do one more. It's a big old bucket. Can't get over the size of that. Come on, Scoopy the Poopity. Scoopy the Poopy. Sorry for my driving skills, folks. I definitely need a weight on the back of this because you can see it's definitely front heavy. Okay, that's good enough for now. I just wanted to basically test with you guys and show you that last little glitch I found. I don't know if the guy knows about this, but this is a pretty... It actually comes in handy, actually, but it's kind of cheating, too. Okay, let's bring this over. Oh, what did I put in there? Three scoops, and it's, uh, it's half full. Okay, I bought a field to demonstrate this. It's 15. I'll just scoot across the sugar beet patch here. The 15 is humongous. I'm going to... Do I have to unfold this? No. It's already unfolded. 
with it. Okay, let's give this a try. Now, the six meter work width isn't very wide, so I don't know if this is six meters actually, that's the other mod I was thinking of. Okay, let's give this a shot. Okay, you can see it open up there, and there we're fertilizing. Now you can see my fertilizer going down, right? Now, now I'm going to stop it for a second and close that. Now here's the glitch. Now if I close the cover with N, watch what happens when I turn it on again. Look at my numbers. They're not moving. So there's some little glitch there that if you use this with the with the cover over it it's not moving at all look I'm fertilizing for free so I don't know if you want to fix that but you should probably if you want to be legit take the cover off look numbers automatically go back down and it doesn't matter if you do that in the middle or start off like that if the covers closed it doesn't go down at all and you can see it goes down pretty fast Unfortunately, you can't hire a worker when you're spreading slurry. At least not in this truck anyway, but you can see there it works fine. Works great. Yeah, that is funny. You press N and it stops. But I like that animation too of that, uh, that gate opening and closing. That's pretty cool. So, there you go guys. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed that review. The links will be down below in the description as always. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.